Trash to Cash Podcast, episode 126. Hi everyone, I'm Dave, the ADH Mm. guy. With me as always is Carrie, the American Arbitrage. And over there on that couch is Kevin, the common wealthy, wealthy, wealthy picker. Carrie, they wanted us to redo the kiss scene, but I don't know. (laughs) Just kidding. This time is too close. This time it's... No. Hey. So, hey, welcome to... uh, Where are we? Where are we? Perry, North Carolina. Where are we? Perry. Atlanta, Georgia. We're in Georgia. We're We're near Macon. Georgia. We're near Atlanta. The AM breakfast. Breakfast Pickers Homeland yeah. of Georgia. Breakfast Pickers. Yeah, breakfast He's from Pickers. Texas. One time, was he in was not invited to a live recording of the podcast. He's still bitter about it. He's upset. He talks about it every day. He's here, guys. He's yeah, here. He paid for the Airbnb, though, so that helps. You see him? Oh, A.M. there Picker. we go. Breakfast A.M. Picker. Picker. Anyway, so Death Pile Picker's here. Yeah. I'm with yeah. Rod Picking and Punching. With yeah. Dawn, Lady Arbitrage. Lady Arbitrage. Lady Arbitrage is the star of the weekend so far. You agree? Yeah, she's found the most stuff. Kerry is doing good too. He's doing good. I spent uh, a lot of money. I spent I an uncomfortable amount of money on sports cards, it. but I enjoyed it. <laughs> that what? I like think Kerry? I think Am Picker is the star of the show for 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 us. Yeah. Why is that? Because he did all the work and yeah. bought nothing. Mm, yeah. He did everything for you. It was that perfect and nice. I, I you know run interference a little bit and find stuff and. Can you tell us a bit? I so can Kevin pet dogs so, and. Can I tell you, Kevin is like so stuck in this idea that picking is like a big competition, and a lot yeah. of you guys oh, watching are too. Oh, well, get yeah. out of a here! A lot of you guys are that way too. Oh, it's about the vibe. God. We're just happy to be here. Look how laid back <laughs> I am right now. Laid back a little. Yeah, Come no, on, where is the laid back episode? You know, we're just we're just chilling. Yeah. Kevin, just do a little late. He's already laid I'm back. I'm laid back. Pretty I'm, good. Just, yeah. I'm a laid back guy. He's a California boy with a fake southern accent. Wouldn't you say we're just happy to be here? <laughs> yeah, I think we're happy to be <laughs> this here. This is Dave's way of saying that he found good stuff. That's not true. It's not uh, about yes, the stuff we thing. found. It's about the, the vibe. See, it's we not felt. competitive unless Dave, if Dave wins, then you shouldn't be competitive. If, if, you can't if win Dave if you weren't it. trying, Kev. Exactly. Just because <laughs> you're perceiving it as some contest that I won doesn't mean it's true. Time is an illusion. I'm here about the vibes. I'm here to just look at stuff that people are selling. years, it's not going to matter, Kevin. In yeah. all honesty, though, I wouldn't have bought half the stuff that Dave bought. Yeah, I agree. That's true. I wouldn't yeah. have either. They're, they're just like not into the whole McDonald's toy yeah, scene. Yeah, I'm not buying 2023 <laughs> McDonald's toys by the case. What are you doing? They were new and sealed, they though. Were sealed. They were new sealed. I do have questions. I like how he's like, the Kevin one's worth the mo- most, and then everyone I saw was not the Kevin one. Well, my question is, how did the seller get them? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. question. That is a good question. Hey, if we had like We're not a, a backup shop, squad, we don't have to ask. So a backup squad that was super helpful, title. which we do. We do have a super helpful backup squad. And yeah. I need to say this quickly. Yeah. They could turn on the AC for us because it is very hot in here. <laughs> it is very Maybe hot. if somebody paid their Airbnb bill, that AC would be turned yeah, on quicker. True. Okay, what were we going to say about title? I was going to say the title of this could be um, buying stolen merchandise at the oh, Peaches like, to Beaches. It's like 5D going on here we got all this like so many yeah. cameras so many cameras no listen we don't know for that's sure just in kevin's stolen. room it, it might have been stolen yeah <laughs> it might have been actually yeah that's yeah that's good yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's rod's good. asking us if rod's, we want him rod's to dance with me. his shirt off rod. while we record we're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, shirt off rod, rod. <laughs> hey, rod give us. us a show <laughs> where are the grapes mike and the big leaves to fan us <laughs> <The> scoundrel <laughs> sweat upon me <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's rubbing off on us. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, no, oh. I mean, listen, we had a fun day uh, picking. It's day one of the Atlanta yeah. peaches to beaches, Florida. Peaches Does it go into Florida at all? I've seen neither a peach no. or just a Atlanta. beach so far. I've seen neither. Mm-hmm. Well, some call me a peach. Well, mm-hmm. you're my mm-hmm. Georgia peach. <laughs> we met a bunch of cool people today. I met the Georgia picker, Kev. Yeah, the Georgia picker. The Georgia picker, Brandon. Picker. Yeah, Brandon. Brandon. I don't Brandon. know who the Georgia, Georgia picker. picker is. Well, maybe you should. I mean, yeah. that just shows that you don't like care about Texas. He's himself. one of the few that do- moves and doesn't change his name. He's from Texas. <laughs> is he really? He's based out of Texas. Did he say that? Sure. I don't think he said that. I think he's from very confused. Yeah. No, no yeah, we met him, and dude, it was so funny because this. I, I've always had this theory that YouTube pushes you, and maybe it's a provable theory. I don't know to where you're located. Right. My top viewers are Florida. Like quantity of viewers, most of them are in Florida. Kevin's might be like Florida and California because Virginia's most not of as mine. big. But I bet Virginia's up there. Well, right? I mean, it's gonna be. California, Florida, New York, yeah. Texas, because that's where the population yeah. is. Virginia, but if you're looking right? at per capita, if you go, kind of thing, if yeah. you go to the underground in Vegas, it's pretty much exclusively my. Country. That's the <laughs> tunnel with the mole. People. Yeah, the mole people <laughs> okay. love my stuff. You fit in. So, no, seriously, I just so blend in. My point being that Brandon, the Georgia picker, the Georgia everyone picker. was saying, "Have you seen the Georgia From picker Texas. yet? Have you? Oh, I just saw the Georgia picker. Really? The Georgia yeah. picker's out Somebody here. Somebody like, said right away, I yeah, saw. you got all the good stuff." 
like that. <laughs> yeah, Georgia know? Pickers already getting all the good stuff. Hey, like, that's y'all. the kind of stuff we were hearing <laughs> today. Kind of so stuff. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was. Mm. Uh, so yeah, you definitely get promoted more in your area, which is why Mike gets frequently viewed by funeral homes and things like that. The death pile picker. <laughs> that's true. And uh, sadly, most of his audience is dead. Yeah. But that's okay. <laughs> You're doing good, or, or bots. Oh, my God. Or bots. Yes. So, Kevin, Jeez. listen. No, me yeah. and Carrie this morning, we were just like, Kevin gets all competitive. He wants to see our buys, make sure he's getting better stuff than just us. Just a quick question before we get into yeah. that. What are the chances before this episode gets put out that a cryptocurrency website's going to take over this page? <laughs> it's very What's possible. the over-under? Well, we got a sponsorship offer, and I'm accepting. <laughs> take it. <laughs> There's the several PDFs with several links that I'll be clicking. Click so. Click Anything on. for a little Skrilla. Yeah, we need yeah. it, guys. We just bought way too many candles. Nothing like joking about somebody's livelihood. Let's Leave it to you two channel. guys. And They're going to fix it. And apparently fix a it. business that's failing, because I saw a thumbnail where he was beat up in it. Was that Heckin' Steve? No, that was his own thumbnail. He oh. put Yo, he literally Retro Photoshop the bruises and band-aids on his all of YouTube. Hey, contacts. I'm this. the contacts, guys. Uh, Retro Rick's channel got hacked. We like Retro Rick. Great we guy. We do, we do. We would like for him to get his channel back, but it did happen. This Ooh, is why you gotta get big that. on Pinterest so you don't have to rely on YouTube money. Yeah, yeah, and Snap. <laughs> snap. snap a rooty doody. Um, <laughs> no, so me and Kara were like, he's so competitive, like, and he's always yeah. out there. He, like, goes so fast. He intentionally, like, veers off so he's not running into us. If he sees us, he'll get in the car and be like, Mike, we just ran into them. Drive three miles up so that we're way ahead of them. Did right, I Mike? say that Mike's one time over today? There. Yeah, Did okay, I say we need to get ahead of David kind of Carey? Is, right? Kevin's like a, a college athlete that's like 30 years past his This prime. is and all super fast. We didn't want to upset him. We decided yeah. anytime he asks us how we're doing, we're just say, we're just here for, we're just happy to be here. We're just, we're just happy, happy to, to be, be here. here because we are. Happy to be here. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. happy to be here. Mm-hmm. Whose alarm refused? is going off? Rod's. Oh. Rod. Come on, Rod. It's Rod. a professional show. Listen, I'll Mike, tell you, you what. got to go uh, put the steroids in his butt cheek. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's it's a good time. one, Carrie. <laughs> I'll do it. That's a zinger. Carrie, all the, all the viewers <laughs> love Carrie for his witty comments. That was witty a good commentary. singer. I like that one. Normally, I don't hear them, but that one, I really I loved it. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, but but they did they did do well today, and I was happy well. for them. I yeah. I I wanted them to do well. I that's why I wondered how you were doing. I wasn't wondering how you're doing because I have to beat Dave. Although I think I did say once or twice in the car when I could get a word in edgewise. These two bicker like they're a married couple. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Were you in the car with us at it's, some point? I mean, I wanted to be at one point. Yeah, but you just yeah. said when you were with us in the car. No, no. when I was with these two guys, okay. not okay. these two guys. When I was with A.M. Picker and, and with uh, <laughs> Picking and Punch. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't he, don't even know your friend's name. <laughs> uh, you, what did you say? You said what? They just argue the whole time. Oh, these ones were Those good. I was two, like, me and Carrie don't fight. No. Don and Carrie fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> About the stupidest crap, too. Oh, yeah. They're just like... Well, it's, like it's so funny because it is kind of like, I imagine, Kevin and Heather, where like... Heather will say something, Kevin be like, what? And she'll be like, and she'll say it again, and Kevin will be like, what? Because he's like distracted. Yeah. And then third time, Heather's just ticked off. She's like, Kevin, listen to me. I'm saying you need to wash your butthole or whatever it is. Right? It just smells God. terrible. Yeah. Whatever. Heard that. That's like Carrie and Dawn because both of them are constantly on TikTok, yeah, so they're not listening exactly. to each other. <laughs> so it's just constantly starting fights. Dawn's like, usually right starts now. out whispering something lovingly and ends up hitting me. She says in the it head. very clearly for me, who's not engrossed in TikTok, right? And so yeah. I hear what Dawn. Don says, and then Carrie says, "Huh?" And then Don says it again, and Carrie's still not listening. He's like, "Huh?" He's not engrossed. He's not engrossed on TikTok because we're busy driving, doing yeah. a live no. on trash well, to catch while he's driving. Well, then, <laughs> then the third time, Don's angry, and so she like snaps, and then yeah. Carrie snaps back. I mean, you yeah. might as well be married. Lovingly. <laughs> Lovingly. And then the same happens the other way. Like Carrie will be talking to Don, and she's like watching six thousand TikToks. And <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Don. TikTok is Don's hurting watching the TikTok right now. <laughs> she's not listening right now. No. But listen, their arguing caused us to miss the spot that you guys spent two and a half hours at. That place was great. They were arguing. I'm like, hey, look at this place over here, guys. This place is place awesome. Great. We should go You're over here. Phone all the time. Shut <laughs> up. And they're arguing, and it's like. Okay, let me say something about this spot. So we found this spot, right? And we get there, and you know, it looks a bit like a tent village. Which I heard about it from somebody. No, not this spot. Oh, not, oh this no, is no, a no. Spot. Yeah, so it's a tent village, and I'm like, okay, you're thinking of the church. The church was terrible. There was nothing. No, I'm thinking about they told us to go to. We were oh, looking you're right. For the U-Haul. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's I was correct. right. You are right. Mark it you are down. right. I thought, yeah, okay, right. so. Yeah, I thought you meant Kayla. Kayla told me what about do I this do church. What do with my hands? <clears throat> Put them in your pants. Okay. 
<laughs> or yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> no, so we're at this church, which is terrible. And someone came in and said, "Carry their sports cards like three yes, miles three up, miles look for the U-Haul." And so I know right. Carrie gets all fussy. He was already getting all fussy because he wasn't finding anything. No, not yet. <laughs> no, that didn't. Happen. You had to pee a lot today. You might want <laughs> to get that checked. Pee. Yeah, I have. You could have had another pants peeing yeah. video yeah. that yeah. does so, so well on this channel. I say, okay, we got to rush and get to the card thing. Like, we're going to drive by everything, guys. Don't get upset, but Carrie needs cards. Let's go. Yes. So we go down there, and the card guy's not there. Nope. Back out card guy. What a Basically, douche. right? Yeah. <laughs> Skadoosh. No. Skadoosh. He wasn't there. And so, like, I'm shopping, and Carrie's getting crankier. Dawn's shopping, and Dawn's, yeah. Dawn's finding Dawn's good stuff. Dawn's finding great you, stuff. Is She's... that where you found all the vintage shirts, that lady yeah. and the guy? Dawn's yeah. finding stuff taped under tables. Mm -hmm. like, I don't even know how <laughs> she, she does it. It is stuff. pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but she's finding all these vintage shirts. I'm buying, like, loads of brand new car parts in the box. And Carrie's just, like, sure. pouting. He's just <laughs> pouting around the building, That's like, how yeah, outside. I yeah. stomp around till I find something. And so he's all cranky, and he starts like so. Me I and Dawn are still looking, and you know, I go, I find some some uh, what is that called? Danbury mint stuff. Dawn's still shopping. Me and her are just killing it at this place. Every I was booth doing we're finding the, I good stuff. I helped her find a lot of stuff. And Carrie was helping a little, but we get to this one which is like a garage, and me and Dawn go in there. I'm like, holy crap, this is like untouched, and there's tons of Disney stuff. There, who was in the back of the garage? Buckets. Garage picking and when Carrie, you when you arrive, and Carrie goes in too, and Carrie yeah. starts finding yeah. some stuff. But then, Rod, yeah. I'm gonna my place I, over here. I'll just... Keep it down, Kevin. We're well, talking. This is a story for you to listen to because this is I'm actually telling you this story. All right. So I'm hearing this rumbling from Dawn. She's like, Carrie's really upset. He really has to go to the bathroom. He's really got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Carrie's really got to pee, Dave. And I'm like, all right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. But I keep finding. Stuff. I keep finding stuff. She's like, yeah, he really has to go. I was about to explode so, with urine. <laughs> he's like, he was, he was losing it. Like he's, I, a, I guarantee. Here's a, here's, here, here's a title for the podcast. It was about to be a golden shower. <laughs> uh huh. At the flea market. Okay. Oh my no, uh, but you drank so much it was actually clear urine. It was from what clear. I understand. But clear. anyways, Kevin. He's yes. whining like a baby because the card guy no. never showed up, right? Yeah, whining like a baby. Whining. You guys got to leave. Handling it like a man. Me and Don were having man. a fantastic time. We're basically at the honey hole. They basically the wanted a babysitter for Carrie so they could have free so ring. So we get in the car. We get in the car and Don's <laughs> like, "Oh look, the card guy's back." Like, Thank Mr. goodness. Mr. We have to pay Mr. The Peabody, who's yelling, I was like, "Oh okay," hops out and goes <laughs> to the freaking card guy for an hour and twenty minutes. No, no, my exact <laughs> words was, "Oh." F word. I because I, I wanted to pee, but I had to go do it. It's part of my thing. It's yeah. my shtick. So he goes and he somehow finds the strength to hold his bladder <laughs> yes. for over an I hour while me and Don were like rushing to get him out of there. Then we Kevin had to drive ten to fifteen minutes mm -hmm. back to the bathroom. But of course We Car why couldn't you give him the key? Carrie spent all the money that they had yeah. on these cards that yeah. aren't all even worth them. anything. Mm. They're literally going to lose hundreds of dollars. <laughs> and so we had to go get more cash because Don wanted to keep making a profit. It's basically how it happened. Went. I, should, I should clear at least $50 <laughs> profit. <laughs> but they're great cards. <laughs> no, they're, they're, I don't know. I got to break it down. I think I, did a, I didn't do great, but I did okay. It was good. Kevin, like after it. you do I a buy, think. so Kevin's different. Mm -hmm. I've seen Kevin buy. do a buy. Kevin Just does a buy. Here. I'm happy to be here, too. Kevin does a buy. Like, he'll buy a bottle of water Diet Dr. Pepper, and he'll be like, yeah, that's going to be $600. Yeah, like, every time. Like, no matter what it is, it's like an amazing problem. Carrie, math. after he does a buy, he's like, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I buy that? That's oh my the gosh. funny thing. Like, I, I immediately was yeah. picking it apart. Yeah. I was, you were too, though. So you it was close worried. to a oh, back out car guy. Was. Yeah, that wasn't smart. Close to a back out car guy. Go ahead. Though. Tell us your story of you and Mike well, and Rod. Well, I chose Mike and Rod to go with he because did they, are, they are generous. Uh -huh. Dave would not like, oh, this is awesome. Fine. Hey, this is, would you like this? You know, whatever. Yeah. What bull crap? You know? Literally yesterday I gave Dave, him a bunch Dave of all would over never print do shirts. That. Yeah. <laughs> only because he wasn't filming. Yeah. I literally was Just saying, was only filming. because he wasn't I was filming. filming. So Rod like, yeah, is I'm very generous. <laughs> like, Typical me and Rod were fighting over here. deals like, no, you take it. No, you take it. No, you. we had Rod Dan is, very... Rod we is had overly had nice. I agree with that. Awesome finds. To, although the one one nice find that Mike had kind of like pointed out and came back there, he, he didn't say, hey, you want to split this deal on that one. But every other deal, Rod wants to do that one. He, you know, he wants to split it. We flipped a coin, actually, for some really nice stuff today. And Mike, of course, is the most generous of all. Which is why I chose to pick with him because Dave and Dawn is like off the charts. Dawn was she's ferocious. She's like a you know you'd be amazed at how fast yeah. she is out there. She's not giving up her fines to nobody. The thing See? is, Mike so, would do almost anything to make Kevin like him and accept him. <laughs> exactly. Like literally anything. anything. Like he's uh, 
He's the a sad a puppy dog yeah, who <laughs> loves Kevin so much. Yeah. He's like, Kevin, please pet me behind me. Yeah, he's like, am I doing good, Kevin? Am I doing good? <laughs> Mike, you just gave me $3,000 worth of Darna dolls. I like you now. Exactly. And he's like, I hope you like no, me next time. Is, and yeah, Kevin's like, not be like Wallen number find... 15. Can I stay? <laughs> Kevin's like, find me more Darna dolls and I'll keep liking you. I just <laughs> like to be picking with people that are really just, you Punch know, it. chill. Doing everything for him. I yeah. will give Dave credit yesterday. He did. He did. I gave him scuttle about and be like, "Hey, buy these." Actually, he didn't even. He's, he was spending my money basically. He, yeah. He'll buy them. Yep. Basically, Kevin needs to said. buy these. They were a good buy though. I bought some awesome yeah. t-shirts. So, listen, I actually didn't even ask. Kevin probably noticed. I didn't even ask if we could go with him or meet up with him. Like, I just, I don't care. No. I've siphoned he off as many of his times yep. if he could go with Rod. I siphoned off as many as because Rod's awesome yep. and Rod gives me a bunch of stuff and he's super I nice. I've grabbed onto as much coattail <laughs> as I can. It's all ripped yeah, off. Yeah, there's there's nothing now. else I can siphon off Kevin <laughs> yes. Kevin's fame. Like, at this point, we just got to be friends to be friends. Mike <laughs> is still our no... friends to kind of suck off of our. Mm-hmm. Our channels, but you know, Rod's just happy to be here. Rod's just happy to be. Here. I'm happy. Rod, to be aren't here. you just happy to, happy to be here? I'm happy to be here. He's Rod, happy, happy to be, to be here. here. Now that he's got his steroids, he's he's good yeah, to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> swelling up over like there. That, dude. He was Mood really fussy like before. that. Yeah, before man, he punched a hole. Allegedly, in the Airbnb. allegedly, mm-hmm. allegedly. Uh, the word mm-hmm. is, he said he actually I asked him about steroids. He said he can't afford them, never has been able to. Yeah. So I will say no the stress. rumors are true about Rod. If you've heard these rumors about picking and punching over there, he he finds a bunch of stuff. And he finds the best stuff out of the stuff he found, and he puts it at the very bottom of the box. Is that true? Yeah, it's totally true. Wow. Totally true. I saw it with my wow. own two eyes. Allegations. Nice. Subscribe. And, and I, I saw him pocket oh, a few wow. things, too. He was stealing yeah, just, stuff. No, just kidding. What the heck? Of course it's not true. Wow, that's bad. <laughs> but there was one place we went to with a guard dog today. They had everything fenced off their yard, so I you could that. only come in their yard yep. one direction. Did you and park the whole, in their yard? No, I wanted to park on the side of the road. My strategy, parking wise, this is a good oh, this topic. Is, yeah, for, great topic. Yeah, awesome. it's awesome. Yeah, this wait. is what people want to hear. The strategy is to park on the same side of the road that you will take off on. I've tried to tried to express this to to Mike. Take what? What do you be taking off? If you're Your gonna, bench? if you're going this direction, you want to park on the right side of the road. Just pull off and walk a little extra, and then go. But Mike wants to do U-turns, go up in the driveway. Make two point turns to come out, and it's just ridiculous. Just park in a place that's easiest to leave is is where we want to be. Aren't all aren't all turns two point turns? Just like no, yeah, well, no, you could do a one point turn. Just just, that's just a kind turn. of a loop. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. But. Um, Kevin. I don't know. I didn't actually put thought into it. It's like when he puts thought into polymailer sizes yeah, yeah. and the Stuff's five cents important. he can save. Like, you got to think on scale here. I just drive here. and try not to kill anyone, and then oh, yeah. when I land, I land that plane. He bottoms I'm out. I'm like, he you're all out. alive. Hallelujah. Any pothole, <laughs> any unevenness in a driveway, he bottoms out the van every time. I would love like a just you know the, like the word. Remember when you ripped off all your viewers, right? And you got them yeah. to buy a piece of the shed, I didn't and then rip you buy anybody. Anybody. which one? Yeah, the, the supply. <laughs> yeah. Oh my supply. Gosh. But he, he gets them to buy his supply hut. I bought it, and yeah, instead did. of actually like putting you know bricks on there with their names, I never, which he I creates never like a name that. bubble yeah. thing where like uh, whichever I've seen name, it in person. whichever I'm name. Zoom in. You know the ending of my videos. I go a little music behind that. Next next video I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zoom in Dave's name. And then yeah. zoom out with music behind Which it. Which is really big. There's happy. only one Dave on there. No, and there's like seven Dave. Dave. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> so, so instead of actually getting like a brick or a piece of the shed, he just went to Photoshop and. <laughs> How much did you contribute? Did something with his like laser 150 jet. bucks. Oh, please. There's you don't no think, way. Go look at your. Bucks. Go look at your. I bet you the frame. Right. I bet so you. So let's get down to it. Too. Why did you contribute that much? I contributed that much to get some of your viewers, and it worked. And I'm done getting them. So I can be honest now. It's like what you did with. Lonnie. Like what you did with Lonnie. Oh he my gosh! You're, you're what in sucking the world. his viewers out of him. <laughs> oh my Anyways, God. okay, so he, he scams everyone and gets him to buy a piece of his shed. <laughs> Anyways, mm. all that was just to say, he did this really not very cool, but interesting thing where it, like the name who donated the most is the biggest and the boldest, yeah. right? Yeah. So if we had that from when we drove, when I drive or Carrie drives, uh, OMG would probably be Dawn's biggest word, or we're gonna die. What do you think? <laughs> like, she does not like our driving, and no, I can't blame her. <laughs> no, she, she, for, yeah, we're not good. I mean, I, we're different. She doesn't let me drive much. You, you've actually, Kevin's been with me, drive, me yeah. driving. Yeah, I'm not I'm as still bad here. as people say. 
Yeah, I'm not we're like, alive. I shouldn't have a license, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, you don't wear your glasses, and you don't see very well. I can't so see. <laughs> it would be good. I'm he, fighting it. To he the gets to end. my guys. He gets to my house a mm. month after his last visit. He's like, "Any chance you have my glasses here?" <laughs> Dude, it's been a month. How come you haven't asked me three weeks ago? <laughs> well, I just was figuring when next time I'm in town, I'll see if you got them. <laughs> I didn't have them. I didn't have them. So, yeah, I can't see. Oh my Dude. gosh! I'm assuming okay. there's cameras in front. Of us. So Mike drives you around. Uh, yeah. You found some stuff yesterday. How long did you pick? Because you said you did better yesterday. Yeah, I don't know if I did better. I, I did the same, but I had lower expectations than I had for mm-hmm. today. And then you did well, and then that kind of made me think I did worse. But really, going through what I did, we did pretty darn good. Rod did mm-hmm. well. Mike didn't pick. He's moving, so he didn't pick, yeah. which was really nice. Thank you, Mike. Even it's like Uncle Steve, when dip. Uncle Steve's with Kevin. As long as someone's here to do everything for Kevin, Kevin is happy. It's true. Whereas we're just happy to be I here. I will say, when these happy videos come out, it will come off like that. Yeah. It's going to be more fuel for the fire, because it's definitely what it's going to come off with. Especially kind of the last reality sale. sometimes, though. Huh? Do you ever think people perceive this about you because it's the reality? <laughs> Maybe. How many? You know, may, may, it's possible. It's very possible. I, yeah. I, so as far as these sales go, I want to say these 100-mile yard sales. When I first went with Kevin, I complained the whole time. Fussy little baby yeah, Dave. Little baby Dave. Um, I've kind of grown into him a little bit because I do so much flea markets. Mm-hmm. And, you know, most people, they say, oh, you go to the 100-mile sale. This is what was told to me. Go to the 100-mile mm-hmm. sale and then find the, the sales off the road and go to those. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I like the tent yeah. villages. <laughs> like, I do. Like, <laughs> the flea market has trained me to be fine with the tent exactly. villages. Well, but all, all tent I'll villages. i $15 for an item worth 10 on eBay and I want to sell it on whatnot for 5 bucks. <laughs> no, what you've just got to – it's like being a handler. <laughs> Right, for the CIA. you got to be a handler of flea market yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. Rod is a professional at this, right? Like, once you know how to handle flea market people, but, it's cake. And I talked to you about this before. There's two different kinds of tent cities, and inside of those tent mm-hmm. cities, there's different kind of vendors. Yeah. It's where they're sourcing from. If they're specialized into a certain category, you, those aren't the ones you want to go yeah, to. Yeah, like you signs. Want, you want or, the storage auction people who are unloading yeah. merchandise, and you'll find them in you tent villages. You don't want the people making Georgia Bulldog merch out of, like... Steel that they crochet, welded themselves. Crochet, crochet yeah. plushies. Yeah, yeah you don't right. want crocheted no, plushies. It. They spend a lot of time on those, yeah. and they're still not worth anything. <laughs> they're still, but they spend <laughs> a lot of time on them. So they're, they're selling them for three dollars. <laughs> like know. you probably spent eight hours yeah, on like, that. And you're selling yeah. them for three dollars. <laughs> math, but that's like sixteen <laughs> seems cents. An like hour. a bad call. Yeah. But no, it seems so, like Carrie's Kevin, card model to my me. My point <laughs> is. That almost all these tent villages seem to have like one or two of those storage. Yeah, parts. yeah, no doubt. Right? Like we took Dawn to one, and me and Carrie went off to run into all the flea market people. Yeah. Dawn happened to find at that one the storage unit person. Yeah. And a storage unit person, every tote, one dollar, yeah. every item. Yeah. And Dawn filled a giant tote with great items. Yeah. I found again, you know, you can find stuff at the expensive flea market people. I found like a fiber optic lamp that sells for sixty bucks for five. So I got something that he'll never list. No, I walked like off. Matt, he won't list it because it'll street. break. I saw how I they might break it. I yeah, might there's break no it. doubt. You almost I, broke it time. when I was watching yeah, what you were chance. doing. What about the, yeah, you peed a lot. I, I've been yeah. So I, I ten cities have the porta potties, yeah, which is do. nice. They do. Yeah, they do. Tell us about the peeing because he has a germ thing and he's going into porta potties. Oh no, these were some messed up like backwoods <laughs> toilets and restrooms. Backwoods? What's wrong the with poop? backwoods? Nothing the poop was at the top of the bowl. It was over the bowl. Yeah, no, there was there was just like puddles of urine around the toilets. <laughs> there weird. was like none of the toilets worked. They were out of toilet paper. There's no soap. Yeah. One ply. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah, they, they well, didn't yeah. even have a dude offering you a towel like I'm accustomed to in Vegas. <laughs> He's very fancy. How many I don't even care if it's a single toilet bathroom. There should be a dude in the corner with a towel. Terry does not poop in his own house. He's got all those nice casinos. Dude, I literally <laughs> Before the before the pandemic, I didn't like to poop in my house. I yeah. used to like to go Dang. out on the town and poop somewhere. That's weird. Go, Kevin. I'm not even joking. Oh it's gosh. the truth. I don't even know what I was thinking. Oh, I was thinking this. <laughs> so we met tons the of folks truth. today, and I, if it was one person, it had to be half a dozen. Oh, we met Dave. He didn't have a sticker. Yeah, that's true. I didn't have a sticker. But I did have a really good moment that actually made me feel pretty good. So, guys, you know, t- take notes. This is cool. I'm at this booth, and everything's way overpriced. And they asked if we were, you know, filming. And we, yeah. we said, yeah, we have channels. And, like, they made fun of Carrie's channel name because it was confusing. Remember, yeah, she was yeah. like, what? What are you saying? Like, yeah. they weren't impressed. They were yeah. very obviously not they impressed. They did think I we was idiots. the cutest of the three of us, they, That's true, what it true. seems to be yeah, everybody's yeah. saying lately. So they think we're, we're morons, which yeah. we are. <laughs> Let's be morons. real. We are morons. But then, as I'm at their table... Mm-hmm. Two groups of people come up, come up and ask me for a picture. 
Oh, wow. And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. think I'm an idiot now, yeah. lady? <laughs> uh, you know, very rarely do I care. We we're had very one. famous but, to a specific group We're a very people. specific <laughs> niche. We're very famous. We had one. We, me and Ron and Mike ran a sale, and there was nothing there at that sale, which I like to have something there at the sale when I meet somebody because you just can't put, like, people's videos in when you're not buying yeah anything. it ends up being like it, just right? a meet and greet show right. and this lady wanted a picture I mean, very nice lady if you're out yeah, there listening like i think she's show. actually a podcast listener she said so she wanted a picture and so she got the yard the person having the yard sale to get up and take the picture of me and rod and mike and That's her funny. and her husband all of us in there so it was a nice moment. and one time rod we're walking out of that sale you bought those records and somebody's gushing over Rod and wants a picture, picking and picking and punching. And I'm like, man, this is brutal. I'm Did like she have Kevin take out. the picture? No, she oh, didn't. Who did they but did? I purposely waited right by there to see if they recognized me to and make did sure they? they did. He gets upset if you don't recognize Yeah, exactly. Me. <laughs> who do they think you are? Like, who I did shook garage two people's people? hand today that I thought <laughs> knew who I was. They had no idea. Was that the guy who gave me a card randomly at the crowd? That was one of them, yes. yes. I'm like, that why is this guy giving me a yeah, card? Kevin Apparently, Kevin. Him thinking he was a fan for five minutes. <laughs> it was five super, minutes. Super disappointed that is when, not he true. when he asked at the end, Who are you guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? That's that's this is what I want to say. So Another I like to think like, sorry, I'm interrupting because that's what we do on the no, podcast. It's, it's I like to this think is... like, when, when that happens to us, what do the yard sale people think? Like, who do they think we are? That, they that must was think my we're point. Somebody, they, they think must we're a think bigger we're, deal than we actually are. They must think we're famous. Who do they think we are? Like, put down below, guys, in the comment, who these people might think we are based on how we look. Are you trying to like, generate is, comments? This is a weird, <laughs> just, just a weird flex go, for you. Go, go, just do it. Just do who it is for care? me. It's like, is that like, <laughs> No, because this is all... He is the guy who reads the most comments. This is all Silent Bob? I think Kevin looks like the grown-up version of the baby from Look Who's Talking. Oh, you were landing the plane. Yeah, I was. It didn't... He's John... It's not... It wasn't a funny joke. It, but it was a thought. Sometimes you don't oh. land all the planes. <laughs> yeah, you landed the plane, though. Okay, so we need Carrie, to get some other input. In a minute. Is yeah, let's Don's get Rod. Not willing Rod, to come, come, on come sit next Don, to Kevin. You come, come and Kevin. give your input on what you You're think about this. You're gonna have to hold the mic between the two of you and try to talk into it, even though I keep not talking into it like a butthole. I will butthole say that mics. both these guys live in Florida. Here. Look at how much like just more of a man Rod is. Look at that, dude. <laughs> it's like he's next to this a twelve-year-old like, boy. I know. Like, this if is you what happened over there. It wouldn't be the same yeah. thing. <laughs> See what happens if you don't have low T. This is awesome. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the blown-up version of Kevin. Hi, Rod. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> good, man. Yeah, yeah. Doing good, buddy. Did you have fun today with Kevin? Uh, we had a blast, man. Did, so, how many times did you regret picking Kevin over us? Because yeah, he did pick Kevin over us. We kind of wanted you to come with us. Yeah. And he just was like, you know, eh, I'm good. I'm going to go to Kevin. Well, I pick with you all the time in Florida. That is true. That's so valid. we're in the videos all the time. So I was like, I hey, would change yeah, it up today. Yeah, yeah, change it up. Another short little fella. Yeah, another <laughs> yeah, short little fella. Little you guys fella. are interchangeable. Yeah, <laughs> interchangeable <laughs> short <laughs> guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, so, Rod, your best find was the records or what? No, no, I didn't find the records. Mm -hmm. I got a massive video game uh, yeah. score at what this. What console? Hey. Uh, Xbox 360. Okay. I've one of Best my favorite buys of his, and he <laughs> and I will say this, Rod, as a friend, he's rubbing his back. Why, yeah, why he's rubbing he's swinging is not happening, oh, Kevin. Like, Sorry, dude. <laughs> I, I didn't have enough dogs. He's putting today. feelers out. He's putting feelers out. That's the first step. <laughs> He's like, Rod didn't flinch. The seduction has started. <laughs> but we're, we're in this house. and Kevin, come gonna... on, bro. Come on, man. Dude, come on. Bro. Listen, I'm not a swinger. I, mean, I, 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 I got to give Rod some picking credit here because he, he's got a knack for finding the sweet spot of a yard sale, right? Mm. And so we go through this one. We went to the back door, that right? Sounded sexual. We tried to get... We, well, this well, we is going to be Wait. even worse. There was the front door, and we tried to go in the back door. <laughs> well, we did go in the back door. <laughs> we did we didn't try. The we went right through that back door. <laughs> got it right there. We got enough. Anyway, we go in the back door. Uh, no loop, just straight through it. <laughs> It's oh, pretty clear. Rod's taking it over the edge. You know, one quick scan of the kitchen, one quick scan over the, the little countertop into the living room, and he's just, he's like, oh, there's more rooms, and boom. He immediately knew exactly where to go to. He walked to the only room in the entire place that had stuff of value, and he found CDs, believe it or not, yeah. CDs that were pretty valuable. 
Let's tell them about those. Those yeah, pretty war, right? Please, Rod. Tell me like you didn't tell me an hour ago. Yeah, let's oh, pretend this is the first time we've heard. Tell <laughs> I want to hear this story. Oh, I would love to hear this story, Rod. Tell, tell them. Tell, tell the camera. Tell the people that you care about. Yes. Yes. Yeah, tell right. the camera. Not these two jabronis. 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 All right, calm down, Sean Michaels. 1998 ECW. All right. But I found a 75 rock CDs. You know, metal CDs. There was a Guar. You guys remember Guar? Oh, yeah. yeah but describe in detail what Guar does. <laughs> 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 they wear big monster costumes yeah. on stage. If you guys watch Beavis and Butt mm-hmm. back Beavis in the day. Beavis and Butt Head. Yeah. Beavis and Butt Head. You'll see Guar They're back, there. by the way. Yeah, yeah they are back. Yeah, they're yeah, back. They must be but, old now. Yeah, they actually are in some yeah. of the cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. But wait, is Guar... F- I don't understand how it's related to Beavis and Butt Head, though. You didn't explain that because part. Because they liked him. Well, they see, Dave, fans. Well, you, know, okay. you know Dave was never allowed to watch Not Beavis allowed to watch Beavis and Butt Head. I've never seen a single episode. Never seen a single episode? Yeah, and I was allowed to watch Ren and Stimpy, which was like just as bad. So if I was to say like I am the great Cornholio, you would have. I know no that I've seen that scene, scene before. Yeah, <laughs> I need two flies. So if bunghole. you ever watch Beavis and Butthead, <laughs> they sit on their TV what couch, my like you guys are doing your casting call right now, mm-hmm. and uh, they literally watch TV and they watch music videos and make fun of music videos. Okay, mm-hmm. I love it. And Guar was one of the bands they always loved, so they always talk about Guar in there, and then they're just real. I guess Beavis and Butthead kind of made them real famous, but G W A R. Yep, G W A R. But if you ever find those CDs. Are we doing metal the band, pillow thing? No, and I'm those just, CDs sell for twenty to thirty bucks a pop. So there's three of them in there. That was like seventy to eighty bucks. Makes me feel comfy. Me too. A little. We're hiding behind these pillows, <laughs> so we're not. I'm, not that. <laughs> I'm skinny, reason. guys. Skinny. I'm not morbidly obese. I'm trying to teach people some stuff. War. Like yeah, no, that was war. Good. We get great. The war CDs. You so said that just in actually, one actually, I didn't, didn't need to buy war CDs. All the freaking Mike would have remembered to fill up with gas last night. We would have been at this sale in time to get he had tons of rock cassette tapes which I would have got of course and he would have got the CDs feel like but I'm in Mike an episode of my boring reseller life <laughs> <laughs> pretty yeah. much or the <laughs> ship show the ship show <laughs> oh my gosh These great shows guys check them out references right no here. they're right, not they're good. they're good listen <laughs> recently <laughs> thank you Rod come back Rod Guar yeah. rocks okay listen here's the thing <laughs> I was listening to a podcast that wasn't very good recently. I can't remember which one it was, but they said my name, and I really enjoyed that part. Oh yeah! So we should just say some yeah. people's names that yeah. are resellers. Cajun reseller, Cajun love you, buddy. Reseller. Uh, okay, Candy Flips, Can- how's it going, Candy buddy? Candy Flips, yeah. Uh, Rebel resell. Prosthetic Hi. picker, I like. No, him. he's one foot flipper. He's getting his prosthetic. He's no, saving up different... some money. Look, he's doing a fundraiser. Look, Paige one doesn't have a monopoly on being one footed. Sean will tell you this. Go donate. Sean has one foot and he's missing a finger. So I think he's in the lead. That's I true. bet That's you if you donated $150 to that, he'd probably put more than just your name and a little That's right. frame in the That's in right. The yeah, definitely there. subscribe to One Foot Flipper and tell him in his comments that you prefer videos about Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> more yeah. Commonwealth Picker, the better. Because, you know, let's see if we can break Kevin's brain. Yeah, Maybe exactly. it'll explode eventually. <laughs> but yeah, he's saving up for a prosthetic leg, so definitely go support the one-foot flipper, yes, friend of the of show, friend of this, this half of the show. Yeah, this half of the show, Kevin's, <laughs> the mortal, of the show. Kevin's mortal enemy. <laughs> yes, Age. indeed, indeed. Soda City Flips, how's it going? What's Loving up, all the City? shout-outs up in here from you. I love that. Keep them mm-hmm. up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Uh, beard, beard, friend, beard, beard, friend beard picker. king picker, beard, beard king picker. Alex, yeah, yeah, Alex, yep. Uh, who I, else? He actually had like pops vintage. How's it going? Yeah, and Grams, and Grams. They did an event in Nebraska, and they it went a, well. Yeah, Congratulations, we sounded yeah. fun. I saw Alicia's video; looked like a great time. Yeah, yeah. So look, Kevin, who do you want to shout out? Oh gosh, I, I don't know. These I'm guys even aren't even pay, paying for the passing. Patreon. We're just doing a service. Come on, there's got to be one. <laughs> Everyone who, likes to hear their name. Who, who inspires you? ABC Matt. ABC Matt, that's right. He yeah. does pay us twenty five dollars. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate I that. I want to shout out Helos World. Yeah. Oh, Railroad right. Reseller. There's that's a train right. over there. We should yeah. go do a little. You want to go do a, a little skit video? There. Kevin, a lot of people liked our ending to the last video. Did you enjoy it? Did you watch it? I'm looking forward to the ending of the last video that I do. Listen, here's <laughs> the thing. A lot of times there's little nuggets hiding at the end of these videos that that are really good. Like someone asked recently, I don't understand this whole paulsmerch.com thing. It's because you missed an amazing segment (laughs) of our show. (laughs) Go back and watch the show where we were live, similar to this, from the Trash to Cash Orlando Bash. At the very end of it, we have a bunch of songs we sang for Harry Tornado, uh, Brian Big and Fun, and Paul's Merch. When we're Kevin's age, we want people to be singing this to us. Who's merch? (laughs) Paul's Merch. Paulsmerch.com. See, See that? <laughs> Great. Years from now, we Great. would love that to happen. Great. Recently, a baby came out of the womb and said it. I heard that. Yeah. On Kevin's Straight show. Straight out the womb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Kevin, 
<clears throat> yes. Rod was with you. Mike was with you. Yeah. Mike did all the work for you. Rod went and yeah. picked you. Was there ever a moment where like you're with Rod and you're like, oh my gosh, he got the good stuff and I failed? Um, the CDs? The CDs? Was that it? No. Actually, I didn't think he was going to make the CD deal. The guy started counting each one. Oh, and I'm like, that's usually song. death, right? You know, it's like whatever. And he counted 75 and he brought out his phone. Yeah. And he started, he was going to calculate, he's like, times three. I'm like, first of all, do you really, $3 need, to, a piece do you really need to calculate cool. times three? But whatever. Hey, that's hard. And I'm like, there's, and no, so I left. Kevin right now. 7,336 times three. Go. S- what? No. <laughs> See, it's hard. It's hard. Wait, what was the number again? I, I don't remember. I could do it. $225. That was my point. I'm like, he's not paying 200 They were good CDs. They were rock CDs, right? Yeah. But I'm, there's no way he's paying $225. You've not picked CDs. with Rod very often if you didn't think he'd be willing. Were you willing to pay $225? Oh, no, no way. <laughs> right? Although you would have made money on that because you're going to actually yeah. make a pretty good amount of money on those. Oh, that, like, so I really, left really at that stole point. Those CDs. I left, and I rarely do this, but I turned my camera around as I was walking to the next sale, and I'm like, there's no way he's coming out there with those CDs. There's no way he's paying. I knew you, if, you know, you'd you make an offer, but if from $225, only Dave would go down to like seventy five or a hundred dollars, which oh, is where he needed so to be on times. that deal. Such a low ball. Right? And I'm like, I don't see Rod doing a hundred dollars on that. But what happened was he said hundred and fifty and Rod said a hundred, I think is what it went to, and he and he got the deal done. But that guy was ready to sell, he had sold a lot of stuff off. So I think we need more of that, honestly. The extreme low balling. Like I did a little today. <laughs> this lady had some marked at twelve and I said five. Here's a channel. I think idea. like we need more of that. No, action. here's no, here's a better channel idea than that. Like a okay. better idea. Extreme lowballing, but somebody go One with footed. no, no, go with oh. me and force me to do it. Oh, he's so that would be so, so uncomfortable. I had an idea about doing a video where no matter what the price was for an item or what they said it was, offer half every single time. All just, right, Mister, just, just literally my right. content. No, literally no, my content. Listen, but do it like strategically and like just like as your theme for your video for the day. Like, hey, I'm going out today, this and is every the guy single who went item and got a hundred two dollar bills Seriously. for the theme of. I gave yeah. them out to kids today. Oh, this little girl that. was so happy today. Get a Originals. So happy. A little girl was selling cookies. It was a sale. I met somebody at the sale, and I wanted to say hi on the video and stuff, but there was nothing to buy at that sale. So I was like, I'm gonna buy these cookies, and I'm gonna. That gives me an excuse to put that person on the video, and I gave her a two dollar bill for the for the chocolate chip cookies. Monetize. And Hello, child, how can I monetize you? No, no, I gave her two bucks for cookies. Oh, you're making more than two. Oh my god. <laughs> how much money have you made on that video Rod did in your shed? Now, it's a little awkward <laughs> since he's right there, but <laughs> Rod knows it's a little uncomfortable. Him. It's at I least fifteen dollars. Yeah, we're talking about the YouTube video, by the way. Yeah. I want to be It's clear a great video, that y'all. Video you should go you watch it. Hey, we were well, did you see Dave pointed out pointed to us? Out, yeah. I was like, why is this video spiking? It's going nuts. Which is awesome for for Rod's channel and for my channel. And Dave looked it up and figured out why some some website some recommended blog. the video in their yeah. blog. Yeah. Which, in the dumbest way, which, Rod, you can come tell us about that because yeah, you read is, the article. Yeah. But actually, I'd like for you to do that. But I was going to say that when I was with uh, Kerry and he had the card deal, the guy comes at him with a $500 price, right? Yeah. And which I wish is, I had been there because I could be like... $450 so, more than I wanted so to why pay. Why did you spend an hour and a half there without even getting an idea of the price? I had an idea because I had put some cards oh, together and it was fair. Like the, the Ricky Henderson rookie and the I, I had mm-hmm. a $60 pile that okay. I thought was fair. Okay. Rod, real quick, tell us about the VHS article and why it's wrong. <laughs> so it's, re, I think it was called Rewind Magazine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they actually... Put out an article about VHS, and they didn't watch our video. The mean Ken put out a video. First thing we say in the video is, do not. <laughs> your VHS is not worth anything. Ninety-eight percent of your VHS is not worth anything. Mm. These are brand new sealed VHS, black original diamond. releases <laughs> from me. pre-owned black, 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 diamond. No black diamond Cinderella. That have to be sealed, but, guys. But you want the Little Mermaid that has the the wang in it, I right? That one actually VHS. does sell for about yeah. fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I sold that one. I bet you have. Yeah. Lots, lots of times. You want From the Aladdin with collection. the testicles in it, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no, uh, it's funny. It's, it's funny you brought that up. The whole article. The whole article actually talks about how there's a $20,000 <laughs> Disney Black Diamond <laughs> listed on eBay. How one sold for, you know, $2,200 or something like that. Was there not, not a real sale? And then they link to the article yes. that contradicts so it. So it brings all the crazy people who think this so, over there. So here's the funny thing, though. So they put the our video in this thing. The first thing me and Kevin say in the video is, 
98% of your VHS mm-hmm. is not worth anything. These are brand new sealed from the 1980s. They're first prints, and they're in you know mint condition. That's why these are bringing so much money. Angry. The first thing that happened yeah. in Kevin's video is probably like a 23-minute introduction with chickens and stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, that is cool. the problem. And if you read his comments, they're all like, get to the point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so they're like, hear about the VHS. Because okay? the video is like top 10 VHS <laughs> worth money. And they know, in their brain, they know you're about to say Aladdin on Kevin's, a clamshell. Kevin's the right? king And it just never it happens. Too. That video is like 30 minutes long, but it took us an hour and a half to film because he spent the entire time beating his pets right before that. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Give him a round of applause, Carrie. Hey. He's supposed to be my friend here, man. I gotta do with these two. I gotta do okay. with you two. Seriously. So, there needs I'd to like be to somebody... think that if we brought in any viewer of the show, they would make fun of Kevin with us. Oh, yeah. I like to think I that. feel like there should be somebody who does a channel based mm. off your videos that just does like a 45-second synopsis immediately after every one of your oh videos. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The people don't watch it. They want it to, they want it to last a little while because they're working. You can listen to Flipper content without paying attention to it, mm-hmm. and you can work with it. So yeah. I don't think a 25, 30-minute video is outrageous for a flipper i only watch it while pooping but yes and i have had some long poops lately so no i wanted to say this so so basically carrie's making this card deal kevin right and Mm -hmm. the guy says 500 bucks blah 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 a little bit earlier than that i go up to the guy with a stack of stuff i'm like how much for all this he's like 50 i laughed at him i said (laughs) and he's like what what why are you laughing i'm like dude 20 is the most and he's like oh okay how about 25 and i was like all right fine so different and then carrie's like 500 carrie's like oh can I talk him down five dollars? <laughs> but to, in your defense, what happened? I offered three fifty. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. And what did he I take? Gone to he three. took four hundred. I definitely would have gone to. But three. I, I got to tell you what happened afterwards, because that was way more than I wanted to pay, and I was comfortable with. But I did it. Afterwards, Don was livid because he wouldn't go from sixty to forty-five dollars. <laughs> she was Don walking away. Was putting stuff away. <laughs> it was awesome. And, she, and he's like, "Oh, didn't you want that?" She's like, "No, not I don't for that want price." It. She's like, like, "Not for that price." I know. And he's like, fifty, and he's like, "Okay, fifty bucks." And then she's like, "No, no, no," or something. And then she got it down to forty-five bucks. Don walks off, and then I apologized to him <laughs> because Don negotiated so hard. I felt bad, and he's like, no, that's part of the game. Yeah, like, he go. was like See? into it. I'm there like, I felt so awkward. I told Carrie. I thought we were being mean Carrie. to my new card friend. I said, <laughs> if he hadn't been making a video, I and I didn't want to ruin his video, I would have just chimed in in the background and been like, 250 Right? And then Carrie's like, yeah, but then all my viewers be like, who's this tiny little man that saves you $100? <laughs> like, I got a lot of that in my videos today. Leprechaun. <laughs> little savings leprechaun jumped out from I've the back. I've had that with Uncle Steve before because he just is, I mean, he's ruthless. And, yeah. And he can't help himself. I'm yeah. like negotiating the deal and he's like, oh, I can do this better than that. And he doesn't say that, but I know that's what he's thinking in yeah. his head. And he can't help himself but to come in Has and he ever to saved you money? the deal. No, I tell him to get the heck out of here. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Steve does him. call me a lot and gets upset because yeah. Kevin's so mean to him. That yeah. that is something I've heard. Did you know that? What that Kevin's he calls me after you yard sale with him. Yeah. He's like Kevin was so, so mean. So like to I me. wish I could just quit Mulligans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> Kevin needs you to run it. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you say you want to quit Mulligans, Kevin will be like, I'll buy you out. I'll buy you out. How about that? I'll we'll buy, buy you out. out. I have an idea to make Dibdit work. Guys, Dibdit.com. Kevin is contractually requiring us to tell you to go over there. And mo- no, I'm not. It. There's no contract. Specifically district related here. <laughs> we made a sale on Mul- <laughs> Uncle Steve sold $275. Kevin, I think you missed this point. And this is actually interesting for those of you who I don't like... want to hear this point. No, this actually, you. he is going to like this point, Gary. You're don't you like agree it. he's going to like this? Yeah. I, I trust you. Rod, you judge. Tell <laughs> us if he likes the point we're about to tell him. Explicitly and implicitly. I don't think Go he ahead. heard it, but we had a meeting with him. I district. might like it more than some of the other points. We made did have we, <laughs> Yeah, especially the one when they went in the back door. I had. I felt so uncomfortable in that meeting as well, by the way. Okay, so in this meeting, and I'm being aggressive as always, but that's not the point. The point is that basically Ivan said that two of our big sales that we had on district, dibdit.com, yeah, dibdit. last week were from Google. SEO? Mm-hmm. From Google, that meaning means. that we are now mm-hmm. finally seeing organic mm-hmm. traffic to yep. Dibdit. It's a brand Orgasmic new website, guys. Traffic, guys. <laughs> dibdit.com. And I am meaning as a seller, you literally can don't. show up in Google results without having to pay eBay fees, yeah. mm-hmm. promoted fees to like external fees. sites and stuff. <clears throat> Uh, just by being on Dibdit, because Dibdit and District, mostly District, are paying now to get SEO yeah. conversions, which is Look, pretty cool. 
That, so, didn't you like that point? That was actually yes, pretty cool. Awesome. I didn't know that. I told, really did he like it? Rod's the judge. Which is Rod is, says yes, he liked it. Rod's, Rod's shirt been, is off again. I don't Rod, understand this. We get it, dude. You're, <laughs> you're buff. We yoked, get it. Bro. <laughs> Let's bring in that breakfast picker. Come on, buddy. Come All on, right. Breakfast picker. <laughs> breakfast picker's coming over. and you're 50% give us this chance clean, this gets cut. This now, is a clean podcast. Can we keep it that way, He's Mike? been to a lot of highways, too. definitely not been clean so far. We be silent. We apologize for everything on clean, Carrie. We've already established that we'd love him at highway sales and we always include him in everything we do at all oh, highway be. sales <laughs> so what do you think about this highway sale in comparison to some of the other ones you've been to uh it's very stress free <laughs> <laughs> he's currently moving you can't uh, not notice the hat with the oakley's on know, right like, <laughs> like he's not even he's not even playing a bit he is becoming kevin <laughs> He's like Kevin's These make a wish kids. <laughs> the only pair I have left, thanks, thanks to Wallen. It's the only pair I have left. Wallen did chew up his glasses. Like. Ross, <laughs> this is pretty good. You sure you want to be on this? There you thing? go. All right, I'll just be carried. <laughs> be carried. I like it. I like yeah. this better. Listen, <laughs> what were you saying? We're gonna have to stop. Kevin and Kevin and want to be Kevin. What were you saying? Carrie, I'm Carrie now. Okay, you yeah. Carrie a year and a half ago. I've changed. Oh, yeah. He's changed. He's you from where you matured and turned your head I've around. evolved. Okay. He's cool, Kevin. Okay, cool. No Kevin. glasses. Let's go if you haven't seen the trailer though, there's a nice little feature with Death Pile Picker right behind, just creeping over. <laughs> that was really funny. The Commonwealth Picker. I think your work was, I think your work was piggybacking, Kevin. <laughs> Guys, have you watched The Office where Andy Bernard? talks about like the best way to get accepted is rep- repetition of whatever the person says to you mike is that guy is like hey nice to meet you how do he do oh how do he do commonwealth picker nice to meet you <laughs> and he now has like a giant spot on kevin's trailer so good job no mike. listen this is well. kudos see i recognize like real friendship see ah, okay real friendship mm-hmm. i offered one-sided dave, friendship. i offered dave Sorry. half of the trailer mm-hmm. i offered it to dave i offered it to Still carrie i didn't get offered Did- anything what the heck are you talking about <laughs> Kevin mean, said I could have some of the trailer if I'd pay for some of the trailer, but I was like, I don't really want to ship stuff while I'm on the road. I don't, I don't want to do yeah. it. Dave also said he it. was uh, completely against highway sales. He's like, no, I don't. Well, really. he's changed. Well, we've he already talked about it. that. We've already talked about that. Dave's the value in it. There, there's I value there. That's the value. Yeah. And, and not tomorrow when it's going to rain all day and we're not going to yeah. get to go picking. Mm-hmm. But basically, my point is, don't listen to Paul Philly Flipper. Yeah, he, Paul's he about Paul sucks. Wait, why were you saying Paul sucks? Paul says highway sales suck. Yeah. While going to highway sales, the only uh, Paul, the only Paul videos I watch is when he plays piano. He's well, great listen, at piano. Great but in all honesty, voice. if you yeah, live in good, good, handsome too. Oh my, great goodness. picker. He's he love looks, his videos. He looks in between eighteen and forty-five at all times. Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> if you live in good picking areas, I, I I wouldn't suggest people going no, and spending money on highway sales. I can just no. go to the flea market and get the same yeah, experience. Dude, but Kevin's not there, Mike's not there, and Rod's not, not there. So. Just wanna, we want to hang Rod's with the boys. Not there. What do you mean, We're Rod's just happy to be there. here, Rod honestly. You all the time. Rod is kind of far from me. We don't go that often. We go oh, every, Rod's like not once at a month. That location. Yeah. I thought you meant like in a presence. Of Maybe you're once not every there, four to eight weeks. Me and Rod go picking together. Right, Rod? Four to eight weeks. He's on the west side. You're on the east side. I will say though, your biggest wins today are the are. Commonwealth Picker staple, the, the multi quantity stuff is amazing. Commonwealth Picker tickler. Co- I'm telling New you. Sticker. The multi quantity stuff. Are you stuff saying you cornered the awesome. market for multi quantity? Yes. 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 Kevin <laughs> created multi quantity. Multi quantities <laughs> and parting together. When in doubt, parted out. out. When in doubt, parted together. Plush enemas like, and, and multi So, should we talk stuff. about Fake that? Fake wholesome by... content. He's got it all down. Somehow, <laughs> in 2024, and I felt weird. I told Carrie. Carrie's sitting there basically wanting to die after he spent his $400. Oh, I've I never was... seen a man so depressed about a great find in my life. He's like, oh my gosh. But then he started rubbing off on me and I'm like, oh, what did I do? I just, in 2024... <laughs> I do that. I, in 2024, I just spent $175 on McDonald's toys. I literally did that. <laughs> yes. yeah. Which is weird. The world is upside down, yeah. Mike. Welcome to the... I mean, Mike's here, so obviously the world is upside yeah. down. Yeah. Generally, we don't there invite was, him was, to events. We, there was only a narrow way that Mike would be here right now and he found it. It's the McDonald's <laughs> The timeline the he's mcdonald's a, value he's, timeline he's in the best timeline it's the yeah. alternate universe yeah, it's the multiverse mm-hmm. we're going multiverse here Dave's on the show made finally. so much money today he can pay for like 30 or 40 cannolis <laughs> he bought. Yeah. i did <laughs> buy way too much yeah. yeah. dave dinner. thought he yeah. bought five cannolis it was he five sets five of cannolis sets of cannolis <laughs> <laughs> which are about five apiece so we have like a lot of 30 cannolis, cannolis. if anyone wants a cannoli come on over we we're in uh, perry yeah. georgia We'll ship it yeah. to you. We'll ship it to you. Yeah, there you we're go. Gonna go. Hey, we're going to do Dibbed It live without selling anything on yeah. Dibbed It. Maybe we should do that, that right after We're going to do it for the show, love of right Dibbed It. 
That'd be cool. Yeah. We could do like that. It. Yeah, we could we do could that. Do just that say hi minute. tonight. Yeah, let's, let's do it. it. Let's do it. Okay, so let's Mike, <clears throat> you went out there all day. You didn't really shop. Did that hurt your soul at all? No, not at all. You didn't like it feel was, a little weird. Was it liberating? Yeah, I found so much money per the contractual agreement with Devin. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the did. trailer. Oh, look, the I trailer. give credit. So if you know this, if you watch my show, the, a lot of the Florida State, the bulk of the Florida State stuff I sold last year was actually from Mike, who didn't used to sell clothing until he saw me making a fortune on the Florida State If 99% stuff. is what you consider bold. No, I yeah, hadn't. Sure. Yeah. I, well, okay, whatever. But I do consider I don't that know, point, I, yeah. I lost my point. But, I consider that, yeah, Mike's ruining the show, I agree. But, <laughs> but I bought, oh, but, oh, here's my point. But yesterday, before the sale started, he found a bunch of Florida State chalk line was vintage Was that PH stuff. Florida or just normal Florida? What? <laughs> was that PH Florida? Florida. Florida flipper. Florida. What are you talking about? PH, Philly. You know, PH, Philly PH. Philly, PH. They're a lot quicker than him. Oh my Kevin's gosh. Taking a I second. can't listen when I'm hearing You something. were a teacher? Can't listen when he's Kevin, hearing Kevin's that. running on a, <laughs> a Commodore 64. Can I Give get him to a my point? What kind right, of chip you got in there? A Dorito? <laughs> <vintage>. <laughs> Weird Al references. I'm going to have to hear what he said on the podcast. Vintage Florida State <laughs> chalk line, y'all. And I'm like, oh my chalk God. I'm like, I'm not going to get it this time. What is chalk line? I don't know clothes. It's, it's, uh, dude, it's, yeah. it's like starting. Sporting. Oh, okay. Chalk it's like a brand. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. Pro player, chalk line starter. <laughs> You're right there. You need to do another no, line. Chalk line. <laughs> There's going to be a VH1 behind the podcast, and Mike's going to be that washed out one who died a few years later from Coke. I earlier because I just... I, I kicked my nose with funnel cake stuff. <laughs> that was funny. I was trying to get that the party funny. going at the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you guys dug out of a U-Haul today. Yeah? Yeah. We absolutely. dug out of a U-Haul yesterday. Yeah. And we, you guys were digging out of a U-Haul today. I think that's the, the highway sales strategy. That's the most picker thing in the world to do, by the way, is yeah. dig out of somebody's U-Haul that they haven't even unloaded. We unloaded people's yard what sales do, today. Yeah. You, yeah. Uh, the best way Offer is... Offer help. Everybody hates early birds, but what you do is exactly. say, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I notice you're out here by yourself. Do you need any mm-hmm. assistance carrying heavy items? Yeah. Otherwise, I can wait in my car. <laughs> and most of the time, they'll be like, no, it's fine. So There goes our look. attention, guys. So they, Mike, goes Mike said in, two sentences. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, goes in, Mike goes into the U-Haul and finds a few good things. And then he calls me and Rod in there. And so we're looking for stuff. And then as we empty a box out, we hand it to him. And he drops it off yeah, outside. Nice they were strategy. selling stuff as I'm pulling yeah. the ladies there. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, hey, you've got guys. You've got a chainsaw. Yeah. You've got a generator. You got that, like we get the points. Uh, yeah, we're oh. trying land the planes. We gonna land in planes, Mike. What do you think? Do you think it matters what time you get out there at these things? Do you really think it the doesn't. first one there matters no. here? I don't think it, it does. does. I totally disagree. I think the best find. It's very in competitive. The I will say this though, it, it does it it does matter, but if you think about it, if you can create yourself being the first one there, all of these situations we just talked about later in the day. It's good too. The people we found today at the end of the end of the sale, they had eight. They found eight dollar Care Bears in yeah. the box with the sealed VHSs, yeah. and they bought seventeen people, of them. Very first sale they got to as they're bringing the stuff out. People don't just give do, enough credit to the people do who arrive Kevin late. Does. They're sometimes the best pickers. I arrive at a yard sale at like two thirty p.m. <laughs> like the dude in a bathrobe, and I find stuff. He usually gets it for free because yeah. they're about to donate. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> they're like, we're about to throw this exactly. out. You want anything? He's but, like, yes. As we went through the day, and this is very true, and you guys know this. One twenty-seven. If if it's Saturday, so it's you can tell it's picked over. Yeah, but I think that there's a lot of times where the only reason you get a find is because of how late you were. I've seen that's you do true. a video game. That's like where true, you yeah. just were like totally. the last one there, and that's when they totally. brought out My the video. My massive yeah. sealed video no game was like 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about it. but More they probably like. just, that was under a bunch of other stuff. I, and but it didn't I'm even telling show you right up. now, there's so many people I talk to where they talk about yard sales and stuff. And in my own hometown, like, oh, I was at that sale there, and you know, I was at that sale, I found nothing all day. I'm like, I buy something when I'm at my house at 90% of the yard sales I go to. Yeah. That is not the case out here on these highway sales. Well, he tries. I think that, okay, so I have a, an, an opinion on that, a theory on that. I, like Kevin, used to be a very fast picker. In, out, boom. Just like super, super Rod fast. Is Rod, you... Kevin is very fast. Yes. I think Kevin's very fast. At least every, he doesn't pick with me Quick. often, but he's His fast. His wife says the same thing. 
Yes. Yeah, so he's it. in and out very quick. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at this. Yeah, see, he's about to lose see. his little oh, mini wow. Kevin look status. This. Kevin. Fight's oh, about, about to happen. This is why I got about to see the real Kevin. Kevin, about to see the Kevin real remove his decal. <laughs> <laughs> There's no decal. That's why I got the wrap. It's like, it is all uh, coming off. Do you need a safe. All I was saying Rod, is Rod, can you I get him a like, Zen so he'll calm down? <laughs> I feel like, and this is, you know, a rare piece of, uh, I don't know, what That's is it, job. advice <laughs> on the show. I feel like a lot of people get overwhelmed because there's so many sales and it's 100 miles and you're like, yeah. I got to hit them all. There's so much I'm not hitting right yeah, now that they rush through sales. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times the people who succeed are the ones who are like, let's just stop. Let's just stay here for five minutes and see if we find some Rod, stuff. Rod's back advice. here gesturing, and they are <laughs> lying. I am the one that I'm just calmly driving down the road. They're yelling at me. Was Mike rushing you later? Left, that why you two are right, freaking out right, right now? Right there, moron. Like, it was horrible. <laughs> no, I think I'm behind it. I, so, I think the play is yeah. just to float around like a French king on the border. But, just but while everybody else you, is digging even and just you, see what scraps. Even you, the longer you float, the more you find. Because you're yeah. like, I guess I should probably I look. look. A lot. I, I should probably look because Dave and Don are still yeah. digging. I guess since I've been what here for 12 minutes, I should do? try. Yeah. The, the play is to do what Kevin does. And what, what he that? does is like fake pee. He, mm. He's like, can I use your bathroom? Comes out of the house. Steals a bunch of jewelry. Yep. Saying, how much for this avocado telephone? Yes. You know, are you like... The VCR is plain, so like, but he unplugs it. and <laughs> this, it this toilet paper is old, vintage. Okay, so... One ply. One ply. <laughs> well, it's actually three, but he's going to divide it into <laughs> he's three. He's going to cut it up individually. Kevin, no, I you, you were being very animated when I was saying that. So what's your opinion on this? What, what was happening today? It seemed like you and Rod were upset at Mike. Explain what's going well, on. Without Mike... You know, if Rod wants thing. to do something, Mike wants, wants to do the opposite. And if okay. Mike wants to do something, Rod wants to do the opposite. It doesn't matter what it is. We it's were just, just in unity today. For yeah. sure. We could call ourselves the just happy to be here. Yeah, walking we around just happy to be here unity two. van. It's pretty easy. Whatever Dave wants, I just usually do. So, <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Easy going. They're very <laughs> manipulative. You can manipulate bunch. Carrie. That's true. There's no that's manipulating true. these two. I can manipulate Mike. No. I'm very bold. I don't need to manipulate so. Rod. He's super, like, just let's do it. Yeah, Whatever do you it. I can't believe you could fight with Rod. How did this even happen? Rod fights with Mike. Oh, okay. So yeah. you weren't fighting with Rod, Mike. Would, was. No. Okay. okay. I don't okay. Fight. That's me and Rod. Why would me and Rod? I don't like fight. confrontation. I apologize to the people I negotiate with. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> Don. You negotiate. Saved $5. I didn't even negotiate with them. Don I'm did. so very sorry I'm going to make you this offer. You don't have to take it. I won't. You know, seriously, you I can't handle it. The best it. case for, Ke for Carrie is if some random flea market guy says, Let's do a coin flip on the negotiation. <laughs> Carrie's like, Yes. <laughs> that happened yes, to him yeah. in Florida. Oh, yeah. Anthony yeah, is like, Oh, yeah, we'll I flip a coin. Heads, $35. Tails, 20 Carrie's like, yeah. I barely wanted to pay 20 Yeah, but he, he paid it. Yeah, he paid it. That was a good strategy. Uh, that, was a content, that was a content opportunity. Uh, you got to bring your own coin. You got to get a two-sided coin and bring it with you, Carrie. So what I do checked you think? his coin. I checked his no, coin. No, we checked the coin. Legit. So what do you think on speed? You think fast or slow? Because Brandon think... tells me he sees you in Lynchburg and you're gone. Yeah, in out. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm... Most people I pick with say I'm very slow. Really? Very slow. Now, I will say this. If I'm at a sale and I see high prices... I agree. I also think it's slow. <laughs> if I see high prices and I, you kind of scan the sale and you don't... You just don't... I'm, I'm quick to leave a sale that I think is terrible. Carrie is oh, like me that. Me too. Oh, Carrie, I check yeah. out yeah. five seconds in. I'm like... I'm but see, and he gets annoyed that I'm still there. Oh, like, yeah, why yeah, yeah. isn't he leaving? But, and then I find deals. Yeah, and I do too. And, and when I'm in Lynchburg and there's eight sales, yeah, I'm much more patient because yeah, yeah, there's yeah, eight yeah. sales. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit around there forever. I think there's just there's almost always now some sales just have nothing. They literally shouldn't be having a sale, and it's yeah. an embarrassment that they're out there at all. Yeah. Let's be real. That's but very true. Seriously, that, 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 like true. sometimes you're just like, why, why are, you are you doing, doing this? Why do we right have now? a like, broken paper towel holder <laughs> and two chipped pieces of glass? Fixture. Like, what do you think is going to happen here? What's the best the case highways? scenario? Here? Yeah. So there's that sort of thing, right? But mm -hmm. I think like almost always there's there's some good items, and you just have to try to find the good items they don't care about, all, right? Almost always, there's some good, some good. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't covered say all that's the always the truth on the highway sales. That's just no, not. I'm saying at yard sales in general. Yes, yeah. There's almost always something decent there, yeah. right? But but, see, but is it the is a decent thing the thing they put too high of a value on? Like yeah. I went to a sale today. This was during the highway sale. It was all hunting gear. It looked like Kevin was talking about themed sellers who are only selling hunting gear brand new yeti coolers for 500 dollars like yeah. the kind of thing that would make carrie run flee and cry right yeah. the kind of thing that most people would walk away from and i'm like they have so much quantity like maybe we can find something yeah. and so we dig and i find a bunch of danbury mint 
They're yeah. super dusty statues of yeah. ducks from duck hunting and stuff. Mm-hmm. And these things were in a box sideways. Like, they right. did not care at all. You find that stuff at those vendors. That's well, why I think it's worth spending a little extra time. Between uh, between just a regular yard sale, which I get all the time, because there's very few community yard sales. I bet you guys, when you have community yard sales, there are some people in those communities that just come out because there's a community sale and just sell a few things, and it's completely a waste. Where... What? Keep going. Where if you're if you're in my neck of the woods, where it's hard to get people to come to it, you're not going to have a yard sale till you have enough yeah. stuff to yep. have a real yard sale. Yep. So I do pretty well, and I've done well over the years with very very few yard sales because the people that have them are having serious yard sales. They have too much stuff. Yeah, they they need yeah. to get here. And stuff. they've built it up for years. And the that's people like, at the highway sales. If you have a highway, if you have a yard sale every year, sometimes the next year you're just paying bringing out the crap that didn't sell last year. Yep. And you end up with some pretty yep. junky stuff. And well, that's the flea market too, right? Rod, like the tenth time you go, they finally talk down go down on price, right? So I've been going to this flea market once a month for four months in a row. They Is have there these any reason Mike's still here? He's, I'm, I'm wondering, kind of warm. Why don't you have a cannoli or six? I, I was wondering because y'all said don't speak unless you're spoken to. But yeah. <laughs> I never said that. It's time for <laughs> Mike to adapt in your sign over go, there. Would you go find <laughs> Joe Deal, see if he's available? <laughs> Is Joe, Joe Deals here? Yeah. Joe, Joe Deals. Deals. I think he's busy starting some kind of social media. <laughs> <laughs> now I forgot what I was Good saying. Good job, Mike. Oh, yeah, no, no. So so I've been to this flea market like four months in a row. They always have these Disney ears. And it's so funny because you can kind of see like the life cycle of a product, right? These yeah. Thor Disney ears. Originally, I saw them at Disney World probably six months ago. Then I saw them at the Disney character outlet for like seven bucks, five, seven bucks. They were super cheap at the character outlet. They had tons and tons and, and tons of them. I didn't buy them there at that point because people were already selling money. eBay. They had no real value. Mm-hmm. And go to the flea market two months later. This guy has like four sets of these ears. He's asking 15. He actually started off asking 20. Next time, 15. Next time, 10. Go with Carrie and Dawn. They're now down to five. Dawn buys them. Yeah. And we sell mm-hmm. them for about eight a piece. You know so it's like that, the world goes around. You know but, who the end buyer is on those? Who? The really cheap people on the Vegas Strip who can't afford a full costume yeah. for the photos. They're just putting the ears on. My point photos is photos and charging 100 bucks. My point is with flea markets and 100 mile sales, like the fourth year they have to bring mm-hmm. out that same item, that's when the price gets yeah, right. you can get a great deal on fidget spinners right now. I'll I tell you. We were talking about that. We were trying to decide would fidget spinners be one of those random things that's just worth a ton in 20 years? No way. No There's way. Zero Silly well, bands. Okay, but what about La La Loopsies? I bet they could be. Like, well, There's some La La Loopsies stuff, yeah. now that have value. Yeah, yeah. Hatchimals, maybe. Hatchimals. Dawn was saying Fingerlings, Hatchimals. 100%. Dave though. buys yeah. things with no value all the time. Like, I yeah. mean, look, would you, if without whatnot, would you have bought the, well, you might have bought the McDonald's toys. You'd lot uh, of them Yeah, up. those are selling on eBay. Those yeah, are you'd selling lot of them there's, a, there's a few. They're, they're not just like Happy Meal normal yeah, we should, toys, Yeah, we should give way. some context. I here. found a seller who had like three, 250 um, brand new in-package uh, McDonald's Squishmallows. They used to work at McDonald's. They no longer work at McDonald's. <laughs> I may or may not be related. I do not know. The point is like, I know my daughters wanted to get all those Squishmallows and they only got two. So I'm like, well, if they only got two, there's probably other kids that want more of those Squishmallows who collect Squishmallows. Yeah. He's doing so it for the kids, guys. I figured those would do good. But then they also had the little McNuggets, which actually sell on eBay for like, some of them eight dollars, twelve dollars, twenty dollars, just for these little McNuggets. What is the the crossover? They're like it's a collab with someone or something, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. uh, but anyways, I you know I found those two, and you know I paid like all together less than a buck a piece, like at fifty cents a piece for these things, and I think I'll do great on them. Yeah. Well, so it wasn't one. It wasn't like. I but was I was still also the multi quantity, not necessarily the what it was, but I love the multi. Like the best one I told you before when I was in Webster was just. Plain white Nike dry foot t-shirts. Yeah. It was my best buy down there. Yeah. I'll How make the make most amount of bucks. I'll, I'll probably make 1600 bucks. <laughs> wow. I'll well, and that's box. the other thing. If you go to the 10 villages, you got to be ready to spend. You have to bring yeah. a lot of money. You got to bring cash. If you're on the 10 village, you got to bring a lot of money, be willing to willing to buy bulk. And that's, yeah. I think, what a lot of people. Because people go up and they're like, oh, how much for this plush? And the, the vendor is like $12. <laughs> and so, they're just like, oh, so what you're saying here with your strategy on these highway sales is like, there's no way. Like, 127 goes from Michigan to Alabama, right? So you don't get caught up in this. I've got to do. cover the whole yard. So it covers just the forget thing. Forget that. Find your area and just pick the heck out of it. Well, not only that, so few places have a good flea market culture. Like yeah. Florida doesn't. Me and well, Rod are spoiled. Right? There's, there's but but so like North Carolina had no flea markets. So if you they had a couple. You, 
you know, if you go to the three, there's one in Raleigh. It's I don't not care good. what they it's say. Vegas good. is terrible. But if totally you go to the three hundred one, it's called the three hundred one there, right? Yeah, the three hundred one sale. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared of the ten villages. And this is mm-hmm. like two years ago. I said the exact yeah. opposite thing. Mike and found two years massive video games. Change his mind. Probably. I could be dead. I don't know. I've been eating a lot of and pizza Dave and went back. Okay. I remember one parking lot, you know, vendor sale, tent city, whatever you want to say. Mike found probably one of the best finds while we were there. Yeah. And Dave found stuff. They weren't willing to sell it. And made sure he went back when they were closing down and it was 8 million degrees and completely lowballed the heck out and of And we got the items. Elderly gentleman. And we got the items. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, my point is that, like, I think highway sales can be good, but, but yeah, like Kevin said, don't worry about hitting 100 miles. Mm-hmm. I, honestly, I don't think we exceeded five miles today in the whole day, yeah. maybe 10 miles. We did. You did. You went <laughs> further miles. than us. You went further we than us. We barely got to that turn off. You know mm-hmm. where it turns? We only got, like, right past that where we met you yesterday. We didn't yeah. even get as far as where we met you yesterday in the whole day. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, and... We killed it. We filled my van. Mm-hmm. So filled twenty. Van. I expect twenty five hundred. Well, it's like yesterday. Profit. We barely got to that sure. point yesterday before the sale even started, and I filled the back of my truck up. Yeah. So I think just like and that find, was just ten cities. And I don't think we're in the the right spot or anything. I think you just find a spot that's got some towns near it, yeah. and you just pick the hundred mile yard sale, towns. and you go work those. And I will say, like the my favorite thing about the ten cities is that you don't have to do all the driving and the crazy traffic like Kevin was talking about with mm-hmm. Mike where you're trying to do all these U-turns and get out of there and you almost hit a lady. I saw someone back into someone's inventory too. Dude, Literally, really? this lady is trying to like get out, but there's this car in the way, and so she's backing up and she drives over a car motor like that he's the- or a tractor motor, I don't know. And the guy's like, you're paying for that motor. And she's like, well, I didn't park. Who's the moron who parked their car there? I was recording it all too. So I won't tell video. a story of where Mike parked today that caused somebody to get up on the curb to put air in their tire i'll just leave that story out of there tell us a story why wouldn't you tell us all right i'll let rod say it real quick rod you know i'll say it he's over there he didn't have a mic so (laughs) he was he forgot to put gas in the car last night so rod and him were yelling about it for 30 40 minutes (laughs) the whole way down there he finally which is why we didn't stop at that tent city by the way because we're like nope we're gonna go get gas see so we got down there, and Mike was nice enough to drop us off near the same place we were yesterday, which, by the way, I found a nice glow worm that's worth a lot of money. And the lady made Rod pay $3 a piece for the plush and only made me pay one, which was cool. And Mike finishes filling up with gas, and we're picking stuff, and he comes and he parks right in front of the air station where you fill up your tire with gas. And then he gets out of the car, and he comes over. And Rod goes back to the car, and the owner comes out because some guy drove up on the grass Back behind it, new, freshly planted grass, and was putting air in his tire because Mike was parked right in front of the air guy. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty good. Okay, so I, so here. here's the I thing. I zoned out. I zoned out, but I'm sure the viewers <laughs> liked it. That's why I like to remember that they enjoy I, it. We I do don't have need one to more point it. about the, the traffic of patterns and do. stuff. Because you've been traffic to the one... Traffic patterns content. You've oh, been to the yeah. sale up by my house, right? And it's not anywhere near this kind of stuff at all. Nowhere even near. But the traffic, that is like, it's like 65 it's stressful. miles an hour, it's right? Stressful. They're going You hear fast. the truckers, the 16-wheelers honking, honking as they go by, flicking you off? It's crazy. It's, it's pretty nuts. They're it's flipping you off. But this highway was mm-hmm. not it's like that. I felt like this off. one had a pretty good little flow. It's flipping you off. Pretty good flow. Really? Yeah, it's Can it divided, be both? Yeah. Is it True. flipping or flicking? Can it be flipping both? Flipping you off. Are you flicking someone off or They're flipping them off? Flipping. flipping. Thank you. Does anyone call it flicking? Nobody Maybe that's yeah, a Connecticut flipping. thing. It's flipping, but I'd say people call it flicking Who too. This is flicking? great debate. Put it down in the comments below. Put it down below. Let me know which characters or whatever I said earlier. I forgot. Which one is correct? Flip, flip or word. flick someone flip off? The, the correct term is flip someone off, Thank but you. many people say flick. Okay, well. Okay, so, well, it's wrong, but I say Many people buy a bunch of freaking McDonald's toys and think they're going to sell them. Doesn't mean it's gonna final happen. word valid final <laughs> word on the whole like tent city versus not tent city there is literally zero tent cities that we stopped at that i made less than 50 profit today well that i will make less than 50 profit but there's like 15 Future profits my favorite kind 15 we could just make numbers up 15 individual <laughs> sales probably that i bought nothing and made nothing a church sale there was this one sale where it was like just all super high priced antiques. It was not a tent sale. It was just this one house. You remember that was horrible. But I but wouldn't call every, it a yard sale, would you? Every, well, it, it was in someone's yard and it was like one person running it. That doesn't it. mean anything. Those highway sales, they have people My like My point rent is that every single tent city, I made a profit. Not every single yard sale. Yeah. So, because there's more opportunity. There's I, 50 tents, you know? And, it, and I, I got to say this again. It's it's about the tent city. What mm. type of vendor is there? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a big you deal. Find the right vendor. There are plenty in Tennessee. So, when you go to Tennessee this year, you're going to go to the gigantic mm. 
Ten cities? Is that the strategy? No, well, so this remember year? when we originally founded the whole like Crossville meetup yeah, for the big find, barbecue? We, we did, did a free barbecue that. for we all were our viewers. The first ones to ever think of two years it. ago, we did that, and we really kind of a lot of people have set the standard. Yeah, we set the standard, and it was our idea. Kevin really, I will give credit. To oh, Kevin, he set it up. Podcast. He made it happen. He, he provided did. all our viewers that came with free food, yeah. things like that. It was, it was a lot free. of fun. It was, it was, free. It was completely was free. Free. Hundred percent free meal. We did like hat. All- we had a great time. We had a great time. We had a great time. Um, but yeah, Probably ever the since best time ever had at one of those kind of things at Crossville. Yeah. Like two yeah. Grand. yeah, the originators of Crossville. And I don't know if we'd do another one ever. If we did, it would probably. I don't know. Probably this year if we did. It would probably be in Ohio or somewhere twenty minutes north of Crossville. Crossville. <laughs> Maybe we should invite Soda City. We should invite Soda City to that. We should pay call? him to attend. Yeah, we'll pay Soda City. He's a to famous come guy. I would pay him to attend. I would pay I'd pay him a hundred dollars. No, I'll, I'll pay him five hundred. <laughs> Kevin's money. <laughs> Anyways, my point is uh, basically that we did it first. That, that's my point. First, <laughs> that was the whole I'm point. Glad that we just flew. <laughs> just very, very fluid. We yeah, segued. We also yeah. segued into that. I guess we didn't mm-hmm. found the Las Vegas rally because they have Boss right, right there. No, but, we, but we have done four events. Yeah. We've done, we that's it. Four events and we're Dave's done. Dave's talking We've about doing more one from Tennessee, but that's, I'm not kidding. No, I told, I said I want to do one at Dollywood. I mean, there might be ulterior <laughs> motives here. <laughs> what is, is it just roller coasters yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah, just yeah. Like, like Twin Peak themed restaurants? No, no Twin Peak themed. Well, you, could, you could make one though. But no, it's it's roller coasters. It's like a you know Universal Studios or something. You've never been. I've watched eight thousand vlogs oh, okay. of people being That's there. I am true. a nerd. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so at the Crossville, will I just stop at Ten Cities? No, I think there's. Who's going to Crossville? Well, at the one twenty seven. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, the one twenty seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that I'll stop at all Ten Cities. I think there is maybe a little bit of an art to the right tent cities. Yeah, like I think so. The, you know, or at like, least finding the right places in the tent. Well, that's not Well, no, hard. some I mean, tent cities are bad. Like, so we went, yeah. the one we have our trailer parked at right now, it's ours now, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's literally a craft fair. It's it does say just dib, it does say fair. dibbed it on oh, there. It's just a craft fair. I've never got a deal on Skid Row, not once. Yeah, so <laughs> so there are tent cities like you'll pull up and you'll be like, oh, this is literally just all sensi sellers and crafts mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So there they do. There's bad ones that exist, but mm-hmm. look for the ones that have U-Hauls in the parking lot, like yeah. Carrie said. Or Kevin said. Okay, I think there's a big difference between U-Hauls and people who have their own trailers. Yeah, you don't want somebody who has their own box truck. That's exactly that right. That is a nuance. I like that. Totally. Agree. Tell me about it. I don't get it. No, if they have their own box truck, they're real pickers. They're always out. They're hunting. traveling from place yeah. to place to place mm-hmm. selling the same exact U-Haul, merchandise. they're getting rid of stuff from yep. their family or maybe from their storage because they, they're done. Rod's exactly. They rented that U-Haul. Mean Rod still get deals from them all the time. Webster, oh, that's different. No, no. He has his own, he he has his own trailer for storage listen, units. Exactly. But he doesn't travel all over the place to sell them. So they do. Because they go to four flea markets a week, Okay, these guys. all in the same area, yeah. which which would necessitate the fact that you're you're doing storage auctions and whatever. But we're talking about these highway sales all over the country. Yeah. There's, very, there's some, but there's very few people who are going to buy a trailer. They might already have one yeah. in order to sell their stuff. There are. But but if if that person who is in business to flip storage units, they have that trailer because they're gonna they might cherry pick some stuff and sell it. But they're buying that storage unit. A lot of them collect guns. They collect gold and silver, and they want to sell everything else off. And that's the people you're talking about. Mm, okay. But no, I'm not. I'm not talking about the people that literally go for. I know them. Yeah. We've met these people. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah. them at different yeah. sales, and they yeah. sell at different sales all they're over the country. The, they're buying wholesale. They're nomads. And, and, and I do think Florida is a little different because there's so many flea markets that they have to be a little more desperate. Yeah. You know, whereas like yeah, there's always like a threat of gators too, so they yeah. have to be on there. A lot of gators. Right, but somewhere. it's a it's a profitable business model down there because there's so many flea markets. It can be your business. Yeah, where up where I'm at, there's where are you gonna go? There's what you're gonna go out one day a week to a flea market yeah. you can't go to six yeah and you can hit five days. five to six days a week in florida Big as a difference. flea market seller so that's a that's a good point so essentially why, why don't you just go into the storage unit business then i, I mean there's so, so much tempted, down kevin there. i am so tempted i can't tell you like it's we a perfect went mixture adhd and storage units we went and we uh <laughs> visited a friend of the show uh kaylin i think was that it kaylin yeah, very kaylin. nice yeah and she was talking to us about her storage stuff and there's like such huge upside also downside yeah. to yeah. storage containers, but it's so get... much work. Like, yeah. 
you know, she she's done some crazy buys where she's made just tens of thousands yeah, of like dollars, the joy and then of she's finding done gold bullion, and then the despair of getting poked by a hypodermic needle. <laughs> yeah, well, she's it's both. She's bought units where like is who that was like it? Hypodermic is that a word? It wasn't her, but someone else told <laughs> me about <laughs> about Ask how they, uh, he knows about needles. <laughs> they bought a storage unit that looked all good, but it was like fake, and behind it was all trash. Like yeah, that sort of stuff happens too. So. A lot of fake goods too. These yeah, things too. Yeah, so it's risky, but I do. I have always thought, you know, maybe if I just stop doing theme park content, turn that into a storage unit channel, mm, that'd be yeah. kind of cool. Oh, yeah. I just change that channel every week. Yeah. See, what, see, what, see what sticks. <laughs> what, 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 what would you know what happened? What would you let's name talk. It? Let's talk the theme park <laughs> channel. So I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, and the reason is because it's kind of taking some of the fun out of theme parks, mm. and it's my favorite thing. Mm. And like feeling like I have to do theme park content and being at the theme park and instead yeah. of like going and having fun having to pull out my camera. That's a good point. It's like it's hurting the enjoyment of theme park. So I don't yeah. know if I'm going to keep doing that or if I'm going to turn that channel into something like the Dibbed It Live channel or the Storage Unit channel or I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That's a that's a good cannoli point. Cannoli right off channel. Yeah. And anything right <laughs> off cannoli over purchases. Is that a yeah. thing? Oh, yeah, restaurant reviews. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right off all my... Re- well, I already do that. But you enjoy... It would ruin eating. It would ruin eating. You're that. right. Yeah. I know. Rod, can you grab me a Dr. Pep? Yeah. yeah, would you grab me one, too? We're just sure. hanging out here. We're just hanging out. Uh, yeah, somebody asked me, like, what do you do to unwind and what do you do to... And I'm yeah, like, what do you do? Chokes dogs. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I, you I, my answer to dogs. them. My answer to them was... To, to watch my kids. I love going and watching Turner play baseball, for instance. Is Ray going to have a meet this weekend? That's it. She does not have one this weekend. The next one. one is States. She's going oh, to States. So, okay. It's a cannoli. Cannoli time. This is half the cannolis we have. Uh, all right. <laughs> We've already eaten Let's do a cannoli here. review so we can write them off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're better now. Yeah, Speaking of, the- my reseller mm-hmm. genie, Code Commonwealth. Yeah. They're better because they've off. softened up a little. The shell, yeah. less crunchy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You put them in cold, they'll soften right up. <laughs> yeah. Are if you, you put them in the cold, they'll soften right up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, by what the time doing? this airs, Carrie and Don are gonna be home. How, when right. are you coming back? When are you moving? Everybody wants to know this. When when is Don and when are Don and Carrie moving? They did a grand tour. We did a grand tour of a potential location of us living. Oh, yeah. It was a dumpster. It was literally <laughs> behind the public. It was. But it was like Publix. a night it was like a public dumpster, so there's plenty of sandwiches. Public they dropped food in there. Plenty yeah, of half eaten sandwiches. Pub yep. subs. Pub so, subs, chicken tenders, yeah. <laughs> but you are convinced and you've been in Vegas We're now We're for moving. a while. Because Vegas, moving. in my opinion, is good is good picking. Yeah. It's good picking. I, it's I not, like it out here better. But yeah. It's um, better. In, in Florida, problem well, listen, with Vegas he, is, it's Vegas is good in and of itself, but there's nothing, nothing around outside it. of it. Do you know what it yeah. is? I, I was thinking about this last night when I was pooping, and it was a, not a great poop. And I, I'm doing when, this for that commenter that who keeps we complaining were, that we're the poop boys. Yeah, uh, Don or whatever. Yeah, Don who keeps complaining. Don's so now I'm bringing a bit up of a hater. <laughs> uh, but no, here's the problem with Vegas. Yes, like you guys said, it's like a city, and it's the only city, and to get anywhere else, it's several hours. But it's also loaded with pickers. Oh, yeah. Loaded with pickers. Yeah. And, yeah, Florida's yeah. loaded with pickers, but they can drive an hour south. They can drive an hour north. They can yeah. they can change it up if they Dude. feel like they've got too much competition any weekend. You are like, Niche Lady is pre-buying everything yeah, you niche go Niche Lady, <laughs> yeah, she's filming a video at, at a, any given thrift store at any given there time. There is a lot of <laughs> Vegas pickers, and there's nowhere else they can go. They're just either so on one side of Vegas or the other side of Vegas. Yeah, and, and we're, we're kind of like fish in a barrel. They're pricing it. we got to buy it. So it's and when the you're a guy is, who cannot wake up before 11, yeah. it makes it really hard for Carrie to succeed. Look, I want to be able to stroll. So how's that going to change in Florida? Because in Florida, like, you can just go anywhere. You can split up. There's card shows. No, the waking there's, up. There's a lot of card shows. I mean here, the waking up. Shops. But it doesn't matter. You can pick it's a lot It's Eastern of, time. Dude, a lot of yard it's sales. It's even earlier. Kevin, a lot of yard sales in Florida, and this is different from North Carolina and Virginia, a lot of them go till 4, 4 or 5 p.m. Like, the yard sales yeah. in Florida go later. They really do. It These little old ladies. You guys are gonna laugh your 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 butts off in a year when I've I'm just wearing the short shorts. I'm gonna be skinny. I'm gonna just have my my little uh, Magnum PI shirt with the chest hair. Waking up at six in the morning, kicking all your butts to all these sales. You guys are gonna, I'm gonna be a change. So are you gonna, gonna let him live lizard. close enough to you that Here's you would thing. like go pick him up? I, I, I need to be close enough Let's so Dave can come get me though. So the property that they toured was one of my dad's properties. Mm. He bought this thing right after he retired. Cash. It was in foreclosure. It was a dump. It still kind of is a dump. <laughs> um, 
he's like, been working on it as he has time. Doesn't really. It's paid off. Like, yes, there's carrying costs, but whatever. He doesn't mind. He considers it an investment. Mm. So it just sits there, and as he has time, he goes over there and pulls out drywall, puts a new drywall, whatever. And he's been doing this for like two, three years. And, I, you know, me and my mom are always like, got to finish it so you can generate income. Rent it out. Rent it out because he wants to rent it out. <laughs> so I'm trying to get Carrie's oh, movement to I motivate see. him I to see. finish this thing. I said, Carrie can move here and Amazing. pay you slightly over market value and it wow. would still be an upgrade for him and you would be too. making money every month on this property if you just finished because it will take him like three months if he Why actually you help him? i've helped him some yeah i've helped him some but i also don't have a ton of time and he's rarely working on it so mm-hmm. if he if he needs help he calls me i go over there i hold up drywall stuff like that that okay. does happen but and you really want to carry that close it's to a you. concern it's a concern but not really because we have different hours so we won't really see each other right <laughs> yeah. like i'll be in bed by yeah. four and he'll be It'll up be by interesting five thing to just see Ke- dave not wanting to hang out with me at some point well like let's think okay so there's, there's, there's this we has haven't gone got there before. yet surprisingly this We're has gone this has gone wrong before right there was another podcast where the the people lived close to each other they oh, moved yeah. there was they a move moved. yeah then the show broke up they did. and it's not even existing anymore they did. i don't know what you're talking yeah. about you don't know about anyone who moved to ohio from colorado mm. oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah there you go the show still exists but it's got different hosts because they <laughs> they battled me and carrie are just like here's here's what the way we're going into it we're okay <laughs> With not hanging out every day. Yeah. That's that's fine. I, what about right. Carrie getting sick of Dave? Yeah. Like, I, I Dude, don't want to wake I, up at I, 6 I, this morning. I am so busy that if he wants me to leave him alone completely, I can. I'm yeah. very capable so of that. So if it didn't so matter... I'm respectful of Dave's time, but Dave is very nice. If it so didn't matter always... what time we woke up today, why did my alarm go off at like 5.20? Why you want us to tell you why your alarm went off? Well, yeah, I went off because oh, you said that. we are leaving. Did you set it? Yeah. <laughs> If you set it, it goes off, Kevin. That's how alarms work. This isn't oh complicated. Mm. Uh, no, so I had to wake up Carrie and Dawn. Dawn slept in. Carrie yeah. slept in. And I woke them both up, and I was very nice about it. I jumped on the bed, and I poured hot milk on them. Yep. Hot milk. Mike From just turned the Mike the Death Pile. It's scalded. It's scalded. It's scalded. Scalded, scalded, scalded my nude body. <laughs> You're sleeping nude? Yeah, with no covers. <laughs> no, so listen. There's, there's going to be like different things. So Dawn mm. and Carrie are daily going to probably go thrifting. There's some great thrift stores. Mm-hmm. There's great card shops that Carrie and Dawn like. Well, Dawn doesn't like them. But well, it's Carrie one thing. Likes. Like we're hanging out all, a lot now because I'm Because he's staying in my house. Yeah. What's going to happen is we're going to say, just like me and Rod, hey, you want to go to the flea market together? And we're going to go. Yeah. Hey, you want to go yard selling with me? And we're going to go. But sometimes mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Mama. Great. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're gonna go yeah. with Don. Like that's you're not gonna want to wake up at six, and me and Granny are gonna be going yeah. to the villages with Rod and his dad. Like that's gonna happen. It. Sometimes you don't want to hang out with me when I move here. I understand. <laughs> and and that's just well. I, I mean, we both know this is the case, right? So I would like it. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be cool to have Carrie closer. Uh, you know, Carrie's on the OMAD now, so we'll yep. probably be on the beach with rock hard bobs yeah, exactly. by next year. <laughs> Boba so. boys. Boba boys at the beach. Sugar Boba. Rod's going to come over and be like, guys, you're so buff. How can I get like you? And we'll just be like, don't exercise. Just eat a lot of food, 3,000 calories at 4 p.m. All the cannolis you exactly. want. You all at the same be time. And we're like, we got to stick them again so he, tears dry up. I'll tell you what, though. I'm looking. See, you're in prime season down there right now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Summer's prime dead. season. So, exactly. So, I'm just, I can't wait. Like, I want, like, hometown, old school well, this is the yard thing. sales in, this in is the, thing, the old Dominion. That's I was thinking you want fire about Crossville. You want, I want fire on a wire? Give any deals. You got it. I want to talk Crossville wire, because baby. Crossville <laughs> is like a hundred miles. It's, it's more than a hundred miles. Thousand miles? How far? How long is Crossville? That or one twenty seven? It's got to be. I mean, top of country Listen, to bottom. Got to be. There is literally no reason to pick in the devil's armpit called Tennessee in August or Florida. Or Georgia. It's way I too mean, freaking hot. I mean, seriously, it is It's hot way too freaking Tennessee. hot. I want the most northern spot where are we on going? that sale. Wherever the northest is, that's where I'm at. The headed. northest? It's I think in it's Michigan. Ohio. Let's go to freaking Michigan. Michigan I've never been. Uh, well, it's been Katie Reads, if you're listening. Does it start up there? Is it okay up there? I want to do it. Worthless it. Let's, let's do there? Michigan. Michigan. That'd be fun. Michigan. You're the first person who's ever said that. Let's do Michigan. We're going to go In the summer, dude, I bet it's beautiful. I bet it's beautiful uh, in August. Can you imagine Alabama at the bottom? Oof. Oh, I mean, Tennessee. Is I like am the passing on the the devil's armpit. I'm not doing I live there. I okay, don't like it's up. not going to be hot in freaking Cincinnati in I the middle of Michigan, August. I want to Michigan, not Cincinnati. Okay. Go up Let's by the go. Finger Lakes. Is that in Yeah, Michigan? with Truman. The yeah. Great Lakes. Was it Truman? It was definitely Jim Carrey. Truman. He's like, I got to go to the Finger Lakes even if I get this job. I don't know what movie that was from. Was it me, myself, and I? Yeah, yeah. Can I? You might be right. I'm going to the Finger Lakes. 
<laughs> but no, I. Anyways, that's that's my big pitch. I want to go north. Maybe not Michigan. We just need to talk. That's a like, long way to Anywhere that's less humid than the southeast <laughs> in summer is the goal. Well, it can't be worse than Florida in August. That's the yes, yeah, southeast. Florida's in the southeast. Right? I understand that, but <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Tennessee can't be worse than Florida. No, it's so equal. It's, it's equally horrible. It's that's why I want to go up. Yeah, I want to okay. go up higher. That's, okay. that's okay. But see, in the summertime where I'm at, there's still sales, and it's hot and it's humid. Still sales. I think it's fly when the girls stop by for the summer. For the summer, I like girls who uh, wear, wear Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch. Food. Chinese food makes, makes me, me sick. sick. And I think it's fly when girls stop by for the summer. LFO, yeah. rip. Yes. Did they all die? <laughs> Two of them. So sad. <laughs> it's weird. Thank you for watching Trash to Cash Later, podcast guys. live Thank from the whatever this Georgia sale yeah, we're is. In, uh, reason you watch. We're in Perry. Warner Brothers, uh, Georgia. What? Perry. 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 Perry, Thank Georgia. Perry, Georgia. Perry, Georgia. Hey, this is my first time uh, picking a Georgia ever. 